a gorgeous Friday for the first Friday of October and to find out what we can expect weather-wise for the weekend. Again, we're joined by our meteorologist, Brittany Merlot. Brittany, good morning. Good morning, Chad. Yes, I am bundled up. I'm cold <laughs> this morning. <laughs> uh, it was crisp out there. We were right on the line of low 40s to upper 30s. Merrill even was significantly cooler than we were. Tomahawk hit 28 degrees, well below yeah. freezing. I, I heard you talking about that with Pat earlier, and it's like, we're not that far away from Merrill and Tomahawk. Why Why were they so much cooler than, than we were here? In, I mean, yeah, we were chilly here in Wausau, <laughs> but I mean, not quite to that level. What, what I, That uh, seems like odd that we're not that far away. We just go up uh, Highway 51 and get to Merrill in about uh, 15 minutes. What What's the deal? I know. It was a really sharp temperature gradient. It was the high pressure basically moving over northwest Wisconsin. It really calmed those winds a little bit more. The skies were clear. It was all those perfect conditions. And then you got to factor in, are you in a lower area, a valley, right? The cold air sinks, hot air rises. So if you're lower in elevation, you're going to hit some of those cooler temperatures. But it was just a sharp, sharp gradient. I mean, 32 degrees into Antigo and Merrill. 28 into Eagle River and Tomahawk. And then we were in those low 40s, upper 30s, kind of around this area. So it just really, really dropped the further north that you went. And then the further south it was so much warmer out there. But high pressure in place all day today. That freeze warning ends at nine. The frost advisory ends at nine. We may have another frost advisory go out tonight, but I don't think we'll be a part of that here into the Wausau area. I think we're going to hold off on all of it until Sunday monday and tuesday night those nights are going to get very very cold early next week so yeah. potentially a hard freeze here for us as well but until then a nice beautiful weekend it's friday tgif <laughs> <laughs> and again just you know you see so much blue sky i mean it, it's been amazing the blue skies we've been seeing recently and and again nice thing about this morning as well maybe a little chilly but no wind out there and it's wow. sort of been up and down up and down and it's going to get up again isn't it it sure is. Not today. Not today, at least. This is our calm, nice, comfortable day. Bear. Highs reach, you know, those mid to upper 60s. Winds are barely moving. Sun is shining bright. That's today. Tomorrow and Sunday, <laughs> those winds have a mind of their own. So what's going to happen Saturday, so tomorrow, they're going to be cranking out of the south. I always say a south wind is a good wind if you want to warm up. So we are definitely warming up. In fact, temperatures are going to be flirting with the 80s near Madison here for us into the mid 70s tomorrow. So very comfortable, but those winds are going to be gusting up to about 30 miles per hour. So if you're thinking, okay, I'm heading to Lake Superior, Lake Michigan to, uh, you know, hang out on the beach one last time. Nope. Those waves are going to be so high. We've got gale warnings out on the Great Lakes for this weekend because it doesn't quit Sunday. So what's happening is, is the cold front's moving through. So this pushes in at night tomorrow night. It's going to give us some rain chances. A lot of the rain chances stay northeast. So it might scrape us. We could see anywhere from a trace to a quarter of an inch of rainfall. This will be tomorrow night at dark. Clears on out of here overnight. And then Sunday, those winds are now going to be out of the north. This is going to cool us down to highs of about 60. So we're going from the mid-70s tomorrow to 60 on Sunday with the wind still whipping at 30 miles per hour. So we've got an interesting weekend. One warm day, one cool day, and then we've got those frost and freeze chances after that. And then a lot more sunshine. So yes. it's, it's going to be beautiful fall weather as far as we can see uh, besides that Saturday night uh, rain shower. So Absolutely. All right. What are the details for the weekend specifically? Because we 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 want the details because you're so accurate, <laughs> and we don't go with those those darn weather apps. So we want people to know exactly what they can expect this weekend. Awesome. A ton of sunshine here today. High temperatures about 67 degrees. Winds at about five to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow we will be sunny, breezy, and warm. Highs hit 74 degrees. Winds out of the south at 30 miles per hour. They keep us mild overnight because we've got clouds moving in. The rain chances. Uh, mainly at night, clearing out by early Sunday morning will still be breezy, much cooler. Winds pulling out of the north, highs hit only 61 degrees, and then we crash cold. A low of about 35 on Sunday night and maybe below freezing 
on Monday night right here in Tawasa. Mm. Yeah. Still, still sounds pretty darn good for this time of year. I agree. I'm excited. And we do need we do need the rain though. Let's not just get the edge of it. Let's get that quarter of an inch tomorrow night. All right, yes. Let's go for that, right? Yep. I'm with you. <laughs> well, have a wonderful weekend, Brittany. We'll catch you again on Monday. Bye, you Brittany. Too. Bye, guys. Thanks. Brittany Merlo, our meteorologist, joins us every day at this time here on the program. Right now in downtown 